Hello guys, welcome to another video lesson with Sadan. I'm so glad to have you guys here once again. Even though you're preparing for Jam Wayek um, exam, this is the right place to be. You are in the right place. So just get a a can of drink, get your popcorn, relax and enjoy the syllabus review. So I'm going to tell you how you're going to um, go through the syllabus within the stipulated time so without wasting much of our time on the first day you should be looking at separation of mixtures and purification of chemical substances okay so here you should understand pure and impure substance boiling and melting point element compound and mixtures okay according to how your test book will would present it okay that way you do on the first day so on the second day, um, I'd like you to go ahead with your chemical combination. You see that guy there, that stoichiometry there, or more. You have to take your time. That is a very big topic that will take you three days. Sir. But I don't know why there's more good into that place. It's not as simple as you think. It's not just one, just one word, stoichiometry. It has a lot to do. Oh, I, I think you'll be applying it in order. Let me see something somewhere. Let me see something. Which, which one will be all this math error everywhere now? Math processing error. I beg. Let me see something. Okay. Let me see. Where is that? Chemical equilibrium again. Let's see. Yes, let me see something here. Can I make a equilibrium? Okay. Let me see this one also. Ways of reaction, chemical reaction. Let me see something here. Let me see here. Energy changes. You see, there's no topic again related to chemical reaction. That means you have to take your time there to do that stoichiometry very well. Mm -hmm. mm. I ah, don't know how to explain this, but I would advise you to look out for chemistry videos that will be coming up. I'll be uploading um, past questions on chemistry, on chemistry. So hopefully you'll be learning a lot from that video. So here we have stoichiometry laws of definite and multiple proportion. You'll be doing it on the second day. That's what you're doing on the second day. And then on the third day, you'll be looking at kinetic theory of matter and gas laws. That's what you did on the third day. And you'll not be doing just that on the third day because that is is a simple one okay you can do it on the third day on the third day you do that on the third day and then here we have um um you have this you're going to do this for two days so on the on the fourth and fifth day because you have a lot to do here you have a lot so periodic table is even here periodic table is supposed to take you one day on its own and i'm seeing that the activity here is supposed to take you one day on its own so but i want it to be, to be very fast so you have to do it on the fourth and fifth day you do this topic i'm sure you can see everything okay so here um, that topic is big go just try your best eh? try your best try your best try your best on the fourth and fifth day that's what you'll be doing on the fourth and fifth day so you'll be doing air and water on the sixth day you'll be doing air and water so you can see the topic air the natural gas constituent there's nothing much there okay you can see water also there's nothing much here too you'll be doing the both of them on the sixth day okay but let me highlight something this air here i hope there is nobody who something about noble gases here they are considered noble gases please that noble gases is something very, that okay you sit in your test book now uses of noble gases uh -huh. it's a very important topic to cover for your jam and wire so that what you do on the sixth day on the seventh day you'll be looking at this topic here so um saturated and this 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 solubility this and that and that interpreted solubility curves compare the properties of two solution and this but there's no calculation so that way we're doing on the seventh day and then on the eighth day you'll be doing environmental pollution on the eighth day environmental pollution on the eighth day and then on the ninth tenth day on the ninth let me see yes on the ninth 10th and 11th day, you need to use it for this, okay? You need to do acid, bases, and salts. 9th, 10th, and 11th day, acids, 
basis and salt you get on the ninth tenth and eleventh day acid basis and salt so when you are done with this topic you're going to take your you're going to have your first break Two days break so this two days break you have to revise all you've been doing if you know you've been meeting up good for you if not been meeting up try to finish up and get yourself ready so that two days break will be on the 12th and 13th day now we have oxidation and reduction after the break as on the 14th day you're going to be doing this for two days okay that will be 14th and 15th so on the 14th and 15th day, you're doing oxidation and reduction. So they don't mind the way it is looking small like this. One. <laughs> it's, there's a lot of things to study there. So on the 14th to 15th day, that will be doing this one topic. And then on the 16th day, you'll be looking at electrolysis. In one day, there's nothing there. Yes, you have a lot to study, but that day will be very heavy, but do it in one day. Reason being that you've done it in physics, or maybe just do it in one day. You can do it in one day. That's on the 16th day. Electrolysis, this is what you have to do. In one day electrolysis in one day that's on the 16th day and here we have energy changes you're gonna do this one also in one day that's on the 17th day energy changes in one day that's on the that's on the 17th day energy changes you're gonna do rates of reaction in two days or let me say three days that is 18 19 20 so on the 18th 19th and 20th day we'll be looking at this topic rates of reactions go through the subtopics very very well go through the subtopics very very well check them out very very well okay so on the 21st day you'll be having a break just one day break. and then when you are back from your break on the second day you'll be doing chemical equilibrium on the second day you can see that no calculation will be required on the second day chemical equilibrium okay on the second day chemical equilibrium then 23 24 25 you'll be doing non-metals and their compound is a very hectic one and no good lie you and after jam i was still studying this so 23 24 25 anywhere you stop just study as much as you can. Anyway, you stop, hang up, don't do it again. And then on the 26th day, you're going to have a day break. Then you must call it and you must call it doing. 27th day, 27th to 30, 27th to 30th day, you're going to be looking at metals and their compounds. This is what we'll be going through. To the 30th day metals and the compound try as much as you can to cover as much as possible if you can you have about five days there now so take your time 30 days so on the 31st day you are going to start with your organic compound adventure oh well, most students are scared of organic chemistry but it's not difficult come on it's not difficult But okay, before you do that organic compound, on the 31st day, you're going to do your chemical and in uh, chemistry and industry. Okay, that's what you do on the 31st day. Okay? And then, 31st... Yeah, that, that's what you do on the 31st day. Chemistry and industry. Ah, uh, that's what you do on the 31st day. Then you have a day break. On the 32nd day okay then when you come back from your break 33rd to 43rd day that's 10 days thorough and massive studies you're going to be looking at these topics one after another to be sincere to yourself thorough and massive studies in 10 days you're going to be looking at these topics one after another i'm going to help out with organic chemistry please i've uploaded some videos already on organic chemistry so you can check them out okay okay you can check them out for some assistance 
but i think i will be helping out with organic chemistry because it's a very important aspect of your chemistry so that's what you're going to have so on the 43rd day you should be rounding up or you should have done a lot in organic chemistry and you're going to have two days revision to make it 45 days okay if you know this video is helpful i would like you to smash everything you know you can smash the notification the subscription the like the share everything you can do just do and god will bless you thank you